In the last couple of years, many first-time investors open DMAT accounts and started trading. Many investors leave some cash with their broker to trade when opportunities arise. But this money does not earn any interest. Here's how you can overcome this situation. The easiest way to keep your money working is to only transfer as much as you need to buy stocks. These days, many of us use online fund transfers to send money to brokers. They in turn give real-time credits. In fact, SEBI rules state that stock brokers must settle the client's funds lying in the trading accounts at least once in a quarter. This must be done by transferring excess or unused money in the broking account to clients' bank accounts if no trades are placed in any of the segments of the market in 30 days through the broking account. Buy units of liquid exchange traded funds. Since ETFs are listed on stock exchanges, your broker can buy them for you. For transacting in such ETFs, some brokers do not levy charges, but other charges such as exchange fees apply. The returns are also close to those offered by savings bank accounts. Liquid schemes have a graded exit load up to the seventh day from the date of allotment of units. Also, the entire sale proceeds are credited to the account on the following day if you place the order well before the cutoff time of 1.30 pm. These investments may sound a bit of a hassle for a few investors. In that case, they may use their existing investments as security and avail margin against it. You have to pledge the stocks held in your DMAT account with the broker. This can be done online by logging into your broking account. You can initiate a pledge request by selecting stocks you want to pledge. NSDL or CSDL sends a link to you on email or SMS to complete the process by providing a one-time password. The pledging process can be completed in less than 10 minutes. The broker gives a margin against the securities offered. While units of liquid funds get a margin of up to 90% of the market value, frontline stocks may get a margin of up to 70%. Brokers can change the margin on offer in line with their risk management practices. If you trade using the margin facility, then the broker charges interest to the tune of 16-24% to per annum. This is in addition to the brokerage and other transaction costs incurred at the time of trading. To avoid such charges, you can fund your account immediately as mentioned earlier. Prudent use of cash and margin can help you trade in a seamless manner.